If you don't like coffee both with cream sometimes and without cream sometimes, it, you're racist. It's a uh, very intelligent. It's not Christmas anymore, but it's still goddamn cold. It's January. It's Ohio January. It's... The magic of winter has turned into that cold suck. And what better beer to have than a dark one? And what better dark beer to get than an evil twin dark beer? This is the Christmas Eve in a New York City hotel room. That's the full name of the beer, and don't let the name fool you, it's not really seasonal, you can basically get it all year round. It is an inky dark monster. This, just to give you some idea, is not even what I would consider the darkest Imperial Stout you can get from Evil Twin. But Evil Twin Stout's second to none, and this is no exception. Now, hop profile on this is backseat to the malts, which come right up front, right away, you get all that toasted barley wonderfulness, and it dissolves into a lovely bitter chocolate. Like, like you know, if you've ever had the smell of baker's chocolate, like if you, you know, that's a little too bitter to maybe eat, but perfect for recipes. If you give a whiff of that, that's exactly what this beer smells like, at least to me. And it's this wonderful, nice, slow drinking, inky blackness. I love it. Great during Christmas time when you need to kind of be with, be alone with your thoughts. And great during January when you need something that's nice and roasty and thick to warm you up. I would give this beer a very solid three stars. I, uh, if you're not a big fan of big heavy multi beers, you probably aren't going to like this one. And the light cocoa note at the very end of it is what uh, would give me its cut above. I like how this beer uses a chocolate flavor without making it the centerpiece of all of the malt flavor. And that is my review of the New York City Hotel Room Beer from Evil Twin. Bye bye now. I'm <laughs> sorry.